For the first time in program history, the Colonels are into the second round of the playoffs in consecutive seasons. Welcome to another edition of the Coach Rebo Show on HTV. I'm Jack Benjamin, joined by Nichols football head coach Tim Rebo. 24-6 to the final. Nichols knocks off North Dakota in round one. Coach, we talked about it three straight years, hosting a playoff game, maybe the final chance for these seniors to show out in front of the home crowd, and boy, do they do that. Well, look, it's always good to have a home game. Two big takeaways for the Nichols defense in a 24-6 win over North Dakota to advance to the second round of the FCS playoffs for a second consecutive year. Coach, we've discussed it, how big turnovers are for this group. To get those two at such crucial times was so important. Well, when you watch the first one with Sully break through the line, the decision to go for it on fourth and one, and they stopped this, but we knew we can have him backed up. And then there was Kevin Moore, Johnny on the spot. And uh, look, we talked about he's got to protect that football. He's holding it with one hand. We can't give it back to him right there, but did a great job. Let me ask you quickly about Kevin Moore, a Texas Tech transfer, a guy who was mostly a special teams player there, a little bit of a converted linebacker. You talk about being Johnny on the spot. He seems like he's always in the right spot over the last couple of weeks. I think he's done a really good job for us this year. He's come in. He's fit. Uh, we knew what he can do in our defense. I think Coach Rybeck and his staff and Coach Wallace and them are putting him in the right places. But he studies the game. He is always where he needs to be. And we talk about Sully. I mean, <clears throat> week in, week out, it's the same thing. We try to find superlatives of what he's doing. But now 10 straight games with a TFL just finds ways to break through these double teams week after week. He's so hard to block. Uh, stopping the run was huge. In the month of November, over the course of this five-game winning streak, 98 and a half rush yards per game for your opponents. You do that, you make teams one-dimensional like you're talking about, you're going to win a lot of football games. And we, we always talk about on both sides of the ball. You, you win it up front. Look, I love all the skilled players, but you win it up in the trenches, and you can see what we're doing offensively rushing the football, and you see how we can stop them on defense. Let's talk about the secondary, too. Obviously, the interception from Kevin Moore. Nine breakups to season high. Darren Evans had five of them. Yeah, I thought our defense uh, did a good job. A couple trick plays. We stayed at home. You watch this right here. Darren Evans, uh, he, he was all over the field. They made some tough catches. I thought early on in the game, we had some good coverage. Uh, they made their big bodies. We knew that. We said we just got to stay in there and stay with it. It was going to come our way. And I thought Jarius Monroe ended up having a really good game, pass breakups, and Darren all over, the, all over the field. I wanted to ask about that because you look at their receivers coming in, a lot of different guys who had a lot of receptions. They spread the ball around. They're all 6'4 and above. Mm -hmm. Were there adjustments made going up against such big receivers all week? Well, I thought we had to get our hands on them, and that was going to be big. And then you got to be careful because sometimes there's a lot of tugging and a lot of pushing. Did I think a couple times that their receivers pushed off? Yes, but also I thought we had our hands on them sometimes too, and the referees I thought did a good job of letting it go both ways. Well, a solid performance all around for Nichols on the defensive side of the ball and a huge day on the ground. Second time over 300 rush yards this season. We'll break down the offense when we come back on the Coach Rebo Show. North Dakota State, top-ranked team in the nation, undisputed, undefeated. They've won 33 straight games. A team that's won seven of the past eight national titles. This is a team with a lot of pedigree. They are a very good program. Yeah, good program. They got a new head coach who's just continued on the tradition. And if we can if we can handle ourselves, we'll be okay. Let's talk about preparation for their offense a little bit. They've got a quarterback in Trey Lance sensational redshirt freshman, has not thrown an interception so far this year. He's the leading rusher in the Missouri Valley Football Conference. How do you prepare for a dual threat guy like that? Man, listen, everybody's just got to be sound. So uh, our guys have got to be locked in this week. And defensively, they have a couple All-Americans on the line, led by Derek Tuska, a good linebacker, and Jabril Cox. Offensively, any adjustments for you guys this week? No, again, I think we got to do what we do. Nichols wraps up the 2019 season, back-to-back -back Southland Conference champs, a third straight appearance in the FCS playoffs, and a second straight trip to the second round. A lot more to come. Stay tuned. GoColonels.com. Follow all the offseason coverage. Coach mentioned it. Signing day right around the corner next Wednesday in the December period, and also the February period, of course, to come as well. So for the final time, for Coach Tim Reeves, I'm Jack Benjamin. We thank you all for tuning in all season long on the Coach Rebo Show on HTV.